putting the two of them in goal together. Same time. How are you doing, lads? Hi, how are you doing? You okay, yeah? You okay, yeah? Ready to save a few? It's easy when you're in training and you take your penalties and you score all the time, but when it comes to a game situation, completely different when you got 50,000 people, you're playing away from home, booing you before you go up to take it. It's, it's a completely different scenario. In training, obviously, the, you're getting a bit of practice, you tell the keeper where to go, but when you do that, you have to obviously put a bit more power on it because the keeper to kind of cheat a little bit. If you get it right in the corner, a good bit of pace, it's very hard for the goalkeeper to reach it. This side, after posting it. See, when you get close. As a striker and a penalty taker, you always have to believe that you're, you're definitely going to score because if you don't believe it, it, it won't happen, you know? So the worst thing is when you're waiting with the opposition to start saying stuff behind you. Uh, you're going to miss and blah, 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 so everything starts going through your head then, so you need to be concentrated and uh, try and focus. Change, i got this side. I always hold on to the ball until everyone's out of the 18-yard box and the referee is standing there and then I usually place it. Always place your own ball, just to get in the right spot, you know? I think if you know where you're going, you hit the spot and you know, nine times out of ten, if you connect properly. You know, you'll score, but the best players in the world miss penalties because sometimes the nearest just get the better of them. And I think that's for the same for everybody, you know? You going to tell the keeper where he's going to go? Do you want me to tell him? Yeah, see if we can get close. Never believe a striker. Never believe a striker.